note on uh, talking about data comes in all shapes and he's here today. So, um, yeah, Tim. Thank you. Okay. And I think it will be appearing on the, the screen. I have nothing specific about big data to say just now, but my science fiction novel with Ian Stewart is just now published. There we are. And can you scroll up a little bit? Now, if I was a lot more agile, I might have leaped up. Wonderful line we have from Stephen Baxter. If you're science fiction fans, you'll know Baxter is a big science fiction uh, author, and Niven is an even bigger one. So this is rather grand company to be in. And I won't tell you the premise because initially you have to see if you can guess the premise, which is a nice puzzle in the first part, and then we have endless interesting implications of the premise <coughs> for society, for transport, for cookery, for uh, sex. It affects absolutely everything. So, a very geeky book. I'm glad that Baxter said it was a nice... Um, dramatic and driven story, but also you have the great game of trying to figure out where the author is wrong, where it doesn't make sense. So I look forward to a lot of emails saying, ah, but... So I don't know why I'm invited to uh, plug my book here, because it isn't a big data, but I'm very grateful. And I will stop taking up your time unless anybody wants to ask a question and there is time for questions, is there? Oh, one more piece of information. The link to Amazon doesn't work yet. Uh, <clears throat> give it a few days. You can order the e-book if you like e-books direct from the publisher from here. But from <laughs> the paperback is from Amazon. And it's not quite yet, but very, very soon. So I feel happy and I hope some of you will find the book exciting, interesting, or worth a mental argument with. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tim. Uh, so a couple of announcements before we start the next talk. The BOF sessions are starting in Auditorium 3. So there's a Math and Stats BOF happening from 3 to 4. And there's the Alternative Data BOF starting.